just sitting out here in the sun on the deck thinking about some stuff and uh, oh, also having a lining kugel <laughs> canoe paddler um, Boy, you know, before I pick my phone up, I'm just thinking about all kinds of stuff. I'm like, oh, I should make a video of that. I should make a video of that. But then whenever I pick the phone up to make one, then I always forget what I was thinking. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. I should carry paper around with me. Um, But really, what I was thinking was, is you know how we're all taught? Right from the moment that we're... That we can remember anything really is you know going to preschool and working and working and working and you got to work hard for this and you got to work hard to get your degrees and you got to work hard to finish high school and you got to work hard for this and, then, and hard for that and you're depending and relying on all of you you're doing it you're doing it all you know it's all you because we've been taught that way that's how this thing that we're in right now works but what if everybody just totally instead of relying on themselves got born again and they started relying on God for everything and I really think that that's really all that everybody has to do is be born again just start you know i was thinking the thing the 60 day saint because you know how to reprogram your subconscious mind and everything and you know, like if you want to quit smoking or anything you just keep telling yourself for 60 days that you already quit it doesn't even matter if you're smoking just keep telling yourself that you already quit smoking i already quit i already quit every day every day tell yourself i already quit smoking and your subconscious mind is going to make you quit smoking because that's what you've been putting in it so you can put in your subconscious mind what you want to program your subconscious mind with instead of letting other people do it through TV and through people talking to you, planting seeds, you know, like some Illuminati people or, you know, Masons and stuff. It, uh, crazy. Your subconscious mind is where... <laughs> so much of it that, that's why all the money goes into the brainwashing and the tv stuff because they i don't know what all the symbols do but our subconscious mind understands all them symbols and it does something to us you know it absolutely does because you can reprogram your subconscious mind get away from all that stuff and just start putting in it what you want in it and you'll start really seeing uh you know coincidences or you know synchronizations and things like that all the time and uh, when you get away from all the noise but it's gonna be hard for people when I quit using my cell phone there's something to it there them smartphones I believe are absolutely satanic I still you know use one for making videos and stuff but when I quit using it and quit carrying it with me and it was there's something to them. There's something. There's an attachment to them that it makes you want to look at them. Or, you know, I turn. I only use my Wi-Fi for a few hours a day. You know, usually in the morning or so, and then I'll turn it off for the whole day just because I find myself wanting to look on my phone for things. So I just write things down on the thoughts that I get in my head, and then I research them later on. You know, so. But I don't, I don't really even know where the point of this video is. You know, about just trusting fully in God you know faith alone in Jesus and Jesus alone people say they do it but I don't think so I don't think so I don't think anybody has really believed that hard in a long time but we'll just keep on going I research what I or I live what I research and so that's how it's gonna be this will be my living testimony, maybe, where you guys are all watching me on YouTube and instead of having my testimony already done, I don't know. You know, I haven't been saved for that long. It's, you know, four years or so or five years, really, when I really cried and got on my knees and asked Jesus to save my soul for me because I can't do it. And uh, since then to now, there's been huge, lots, so many things that's happened that 
I feel different about now than what I felt about then, and I don't even worry about, if, you know, like, yeah, you know, all the church people and stuff, they, you know, say drinking beer, you know, you ain't supposed to get drunk. I hate being around drunk people, don't you? No wonder that you ain't going into heaven if you're a drunk like that. Can't stand being around them people. And I've been one of them people before. <laughs> not saying I haven't. But they're annoying when you're not drinking and you're around somebody like that. So you can understand why it says drunkards and I won't get in heaven. But that's beside the point. Anyways. Oh, what else? I'm just rambling. Probably the longest video I ever made just sitting here rambling. I don't know. I might make another one later if I'm just... If anything comes to mind, but hey, God bless everybody and get get born again and you'll start feeling things that ain't like you even got to do anything to feel them. You'll just start feeling them. If you really mean it when you ask him to save you, he will. That's his promise. You don't give promises away and then take them back. They're there. Once you ask them, that's it. So... Guys, take care. Bye.